Yes, he needs you because what? You need him. But where were you when God sent the sun in the sky? No. You think you're so mighty, you think you're so proud, that God's not going to make it without you? Where were you when God created the waters? Where were you when God, hallelujah, put oxygen in the atmosphere? Where were you, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, the Bible said in him we leave. We move and we have our being. How you listen to me? Glory to God. We can't make it without God's faith. We can't do it without God's faith. We can't do it without the ability of God inside of us. Galatians. Chapter 20. In one verse. Galatians what? Galatians chapter 20, 2 0. Galatians? The book of Galatians. Mm -hmm. chapter, one? Chapter, chapter 5. Oh, okay. Sorry, chapter 2. Chapter two. In one verse, verse number, verse number 20. Two Hallelujah. Glory. There's a place of faith we have to come to. There's a place of faith we have to become established. There's a place of faith we have to get set or get grounded. Galatians 2.20, you have it? It says, what? Well, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I leave. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the spirit. It didn't say the life I live in the spirit. Some people say the flesh doesn't matter. Some people say the flesh is evil. The flesh is corrupt. The flesh is no good. That's before you get saved. And if the flesh is no good and the flesh is corrupt, then God did not become flesh. And if God became flesh, he came, became flesh to the one to justify the flesh. He became God, not just in spirit. He was already God in spirit. He could have said God in spirit if it was only the spirit that mattered. In the sense of all we have to do is have a right spirit. You can't have a right spirit of your flesh not under control and live in the flesh and in the spirit at the same time. Your flesh and your spirit has to become what? One. Revelation! Why? Because the Bible said the word became flesh and dwell among us. The word didn't just become flesh in the spirit. The word became flesh in the flesh of Jesus. That's why the very flesh of Jesus is also God. That's why he said except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. Except, hallelujah, if the flesh of Jesus was not God, hallelujah, glory to God, that means we would eat the flesh of Jesus and become something else. But he said except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, hallelujah, you've got no life in you. He could have said, except you eat my spirit, except you receive my spirit, but he said, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so he said, I leave, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now leave in the flesh, I leave by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. Now Paul said one place, we walk by faith. But after you crucify your flesh and your life and you die, you get born again. You don't walk by faith. Hallelujah. And I know that might be contradicting what some of the big people are saying and some of these mighty word of faith ministries are saying. But then Paul said, after I'm crucified with Christ, the life I now leave, I leave. He didn't say I walk. Yes. Hallelujah. There's a difference in walking and living. He said I leave by the faith of the Son of God who walk, who gave himself for me, who gave his life for me. Jesus didn't walk by faith. Hallelujah. But he lived by faith. Yes. Every 
everything in being was by faith. Why? Because it was the word of faith. Oh my God, when we receive that same Jesus inside of our hearts, uh, inside of our minds, uh, that's not a secret. It's just something that's in the Bible. That people have not preached, uh, and it has not been taught. Uh, but I'm opening your eyes today to something uh, that you've got to realize. Uh, that you don't just come to a place, uh, hallelujah, where you say, God, I need a word. Uh, oh God, I need direction. Uh, but your very life, uh, as you live for God, uh, Jesus said, say what you will, and it shall be done. Uh, Jesus said, if my word abide in you, you shall ask what you will, uh, and it shall be done. He didn't say, you got to ask me for a word of faith, and then I'm going to give it to you, and then you'll try to practice it and exercise it for the rest of your life until you fake it and you make it. No, hallelujah. You can't fake that word of faith. Uh, it's your life. Uh, you can't fake your life. Uh, you can't fake your mind. Uh, you can't fake your soul. Uh, you can't fake your spirit. Uh, it's all real. Amen. Yes. So he said, you begin to walk by faith. I don't understand everything God is saying to me, but I believe it because I got saved. But Jesus said through John 1 place, now you've come to a place that you don't need anybody, any man to teach you. He says that unction that's in you is going to teach you the Holy Ghost. The Bible said building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So I don't need your Holy Ghost to give me faith. I don't need your Holy Ghost to make me believe God. Because I've got the same Holy Ghost. What happened to Mary when she visited Elizabeth? She didn't get pregnant then. She was already impregnated with the Holy Ghost. My Holy Ghost don't impregnate you. God by the Holy Ghost impregnates you. I can't impact my Holy Ghost to you. I can't impact my faith to you. I can't blow my faith to you. I can't speak my faith on you. I can't give you my faith handkerchief to make you have the faith that I have. No, you've got to receive that faith inside of you. You've got to receive that faith in your spirit. You've got to receive that faith in your heart. You've got to receive that faith in your soul. You've got to receive that faith in your life. It's not a mind game. It's not a word game. Are you listening to me? Where you read somebody's book and you get somebody's faith. No, you've got to talk to God. You've got to know God. You've got to understand God. You've got to realize that the same God that causes Jesus Christ to become the word made flesh. It's the same God that dwells inside of you. And now you are the word of God in the flesh. And now you live by the faith of the Son of God. Yes. Who gave his life for you. If I give you my life and you take my life and my life comes in you, who are you living by? You're living by me. It's not you anymore. It's your own life. Even in the natural medical science and surgeons are proven. If they do heart transplant on somebody who had a bad heart, they give you somebody else's heart after you get up from surgery. They said there was a man that used to smoke. And they took his hat to give somebody that never smoked. Oh. After he got out of surgery a couple of days, he said, I want a cigarette. <laughs> Why he wanted a cigarette? Because that person in their heart was a smoker. The desires of that person became their desires. Oh. Well, how much more when we put God in our hearts? Yeah. 